Breaking news, everyone. A massive development has just rocked British politics as Keir Starmer makes a stunning U-turn on the winter fuel allowance. You absolutely won't believe what's just been announced. If you're worried about staying warm this winter and want to know exactly how this affects your pocket, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell right now because we'll be bringing you all the crucial updates you need to know. Here's why this is absolutely massive news that you need to hear right now. After months of uncertainty and speculation about Labour's position on winter fuel payments, Keir Starmer has finally broken his silence and what he's saying has left everyone shocked. The implications for millions of pensioners across the United Kingdom are huge and you need to know exactly what this means for you and your family. Don't skip ahead because every detail matters when it comes to your winter fuel payment. This is genuinely some of the most important news we've covered on this channel, so if you're finding this helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe. It really helps us reach more people who need this crucial information about their benefits. Let me break this down for you step by step. Initially, Labour's position on the winter fuel allowance was incredibly vague. Many people were worried about what might happen to this vital support under a Labour government. Pensioners across the country were left wondering if they'd be able to keep their homes warm this winter, but now, everything has changed. The current winter fuel allowance system provides vital support ranging from PS250 to PS600 for eligible pensioners. These payments have been an absolute lifeline for millions of people trying to keep warm during the cold months. But there's been massive uncertainty about whether these amounts would continue under a Labour government. Here's where it gets really interesting. After months of pressure from campaign groups and groups and growing concerns about energy costs, Keir Starmer has made a complete reversal of Labour's previous position. The party is now not only committing to maintaining the winter fuel allowance, but is actually considering ways to enhance the support for those who need it most. But wait, there's even more to this story that the mainstream media isn't telling you. This U-turn didn't happen in isolation. It comes right after new energy price cap announcements and growing concerns about fuel poverty among elderly citizens. The timing couldn't be more crucial as we approach another challenging winter. If you think this information could help someone you know, please give this video a quick thumbs up and share it with them. We're committed to helping as many people as possible understand these crucial changes. Now, let's talk about what this means for 2024. Currently, to be eligible for the winter fuel allowance, you need to have been born on or before September 25, 1957 and be living in the UK during the qualifying week. These payments typically hit bank accounts between November and December. But here's where Labour's new position could change everything. Sources close to the Labour Party have revealed that they're looking at ways to make the system more efficient and potentially more generous for those struggling the most. This could mean significant changes to how the allowance is calculated and distributed. The timing of this announcement is absolutely crucial. With energy prices still causing major concerns and inflation affecting everyone's budgets, this U-turn appears perfectly timed to address growing public anxiety about winter fuel costs. What's particularly fascinating about this development is how it could signal a much bigger shift in Labour's approach to social welfare and support for the elderly. This might just be the first of several major policy reversals we'll see as we get closer to the next general election. Let's talk about the real impact on household budgets. For countless pensioners across the UK, the winter fuel allowance isn't just another benefit, it's absolutely essential for survival during the coldest months. With the current cost of living crisis showing no signs of easing, any confirmation of continued support brings massive relief to millions of worried households. If you're still watching, you clearly care about staying informed on these crucial issues. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss our updates on benefits and support payments. Here's what's really got everyone talking the questions about whether Labour might actually increase the payment amounts to match rising energy costs. With bills continuing to soar, many are hoping this U-turn might lead to even more support for struggling households. We need to address some crucial questions that keep coming up in our comments section. People want to know if the payment dates will change under a Labour government. They're asking if the amount might increase to match the rising energy costs. There are questions about what additional support might be available and how this will affect those who receive other benefits. While Starmer's U-turn provides some clarity, there are still many details that need to be worked out. What we do know is that this represents a fundamental shift in Labour's approach to social welfare, particularly regarding support for the elderly and vulnerable. The political landscape around benefits and support payments is constantly shifting, 
and these changes could have a direct impact on your household budget. That's why it's absolutely crucial to stay informed about these developments. We're going to be closely monitoring any further announcements or clarifications from the Labour Party about this policy shift. There could be more changes coming, and we'll be here to break down exactly what they mean for you. Looking ahead to winter 2024, it's vital to understand exactly what you might be entitled to. The qualifying criteria could change, the payment amounts might be adjusted, and the timing of payments could be different. We'll be keeping a close eye on all of these potential changes. Here's something really important that many people don't realize this U-turn could actually indicate a broader shift in how labor approaches all welfare benefits. Could we see similar reversals on other policies? What might this mean for other winter support payments? The impact of this announcement extends far beyond just the winter fuel allowance. It could signal a complete reimagining of how we support our elderly population through the winter months. This could be just the beginning of a series of major policy shifts. If you're worried about staying warm this winter, or you know someone who is, please share this video with them. The more people who understand these changes, the better prepared everyone can be. Remember, we're here to help you navigate these changes and understand exactly what you're entitled to. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel for all the latest updates on benefits, support payments and policy changes that could affect your finances. We're coming up to a crucial time of year when many people start worrying about their winter fuel costs. That's why understanding these policy changes is absolutely vital. Don't let yourself or your loved ones miss out on the support you're entitled to. As we wrap up this video, let me remind you of the key things you need to do. Check your eligibility, keep an eye on any official announcements and make sure you're receiving all the benefits you're entitled to. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. The changes we've discussed today could make a real difference to millions of people across the UK. That's why we're committed to bringing you the most up-to-date and accurate information about these crucial benefits. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on this U-turn. We'd love to hear your perspective. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay updated with all our latest videos. Together, we can make sure everyone gets the support they need this winter. Stay warm, stay informed, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.